To the casual spectator, the Olympic Village is a mysterious place, an international melting pot with a reputation for hedonism. To paraphrase a familiar saying, what happens in the village stays in the village, for the most part. Here's the truth about what happens at the Olympic Village. Chaos reigns. Olympians live highly regimented lives as they prepare to compete on the international stage, separated from their families, subjected to full-time training schedules, and are frequently underpaid. So it's rare that competitors actually get the chance to cut loose and just do what they want. An American target shooter named Josh Lakatos was reportedly midway through the 2000 Summer Games in Sydney when he was told to lock up the three-story compound that his team had leased. Instead, according to ESPN, Lakatos reportedly launched what can only be described as an epic party-slash-sexual playground in some stranger's mansion. So let's take a moment to salute an American hero. Lakatos may not have medaled that year, but we would argue that he still won gold in our hearts. Getting busy. You want to know the truth about the Olympic Village? Hey, everybody! We're all gonna get late! This is not exaggeration. Just ask U.S. women's soccer goalkeeper Hope Solo, who told ESPN, I've seen people having sex right out in the open. On the grass, between buildings, people are getting down and dirty. There's a lot of sex going on. Asked to estimate how many athletes would be focusing on amorous activities in the village after dark, U.S. swimmer Ryan Lochte said, I'd say it's 70% to 75% of Olympians. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The Human Zoo The Olympic Village is a zoo of human celebration, with all kinds of physiques on display. There's something and someone for every taste and type. BMX biker Jill Kintner said she has a fondness for the male gymnasts, saying, They're like lovable little Ewoks. But it's the swim team that seems to be the real serious draw. Artistic gymnast Alicia Sacramoni, whose team shared some facilities with swimmers and water polo competitors at the Beijing Games in 2008, says the top physiques in the village are no contest. As far as best bodies, it's swimmers and water polo players, because that's an insane workout. Wrap it up. Since the Olympic Village is fairly secretive, all we have to go on to confirm or deny the existence of an Olympic sextilathon is the physical evidence being shipped in. Praise be to the thousands of condoms being shipped in, keeping our athletes STD-free. No one wants to get in the pool with gonorrhea. According to Slate, 100,000 condoms were shipped to Vancouver for the Winter Games in 2010, and 150,000 arrived in London for the Summer Games of 2012. Approximately 450,000 were shipped to Rio. At this rate, Tokyo's 2020 Olympics will need an entire village just to store condoms. If all else fails, Find Eric, the guy with the kangaroo pouch packed with condoms. While the IOC and the World Health Organizations do an admirable job making condoms widely available, there's nothing wrong with having a backup plan. Eric works for Rio and all of mankind. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know if you'd want to stay at the Olympic Village.